If you're working on Mac OS X version 10.7 or Lion, you'll find that Java is not installed by default on this version of the operating system. It's up to you to go get Java and install it. This is pretty easy to do. Just go to the Apple website at this URL, support.apple.com slash kb slash dl1421. Click the download link and follow the prompts to download the software. I've downloaded the installer to my desktop. It's a DMG file, and when you open it up, it shows a conventional installer package. Run the installer and walk through all the prompts to install Java. There are no options to take care of, so the installation is fairly automated. This version of the installer is for Java SE 6, 1.6026, the latest version of Java for Mac as of this recording. Once you've completed the installation, the next step is to test it. I recommend using Terminal for this. I'll go to the Lion Launchpad application, which opens up my applications. I'll go to Utilities, and then to Terminal. Now to test the installation of Java, first type Java, all lowercase, then a space, and dash version. Press Return, and you should see an output showing you which version of Java is installed on your system. Again, I'm running Java 6, Maintenance Release 26. You should also test to make sure you can get to the Java compiler. Type Java C, space, dash version. And once again, you should get a little bit of output, this time just showing the version number. If you can do this much, you're in great shape, and you're ready to go to the next step, installing Eclipse. But before we finish up this video, I'll show you where Java is actually installed. You'll need to know this location for certain configuration tasks during this video course. In Terminal, from the command line, type cd, space, slash system, make sure that you're using an uppercase s, because Mac OS X is case sensitive, then slash library, then slash frameworks. Press return, and then type ls j a asterisk. And that will show you a listing of everything starting off with the word Java. I'm looking for the items at the bottom of the listing, under javavm.framework. So I'll type cd, then java v, with an uppercase v, and I'll press tab, and let terminal autocomplete the directory name. I'll press return, then I'll issue the clear command to clear the screen, and then ls to see what's in here. You'll see that there are directories for classes, frameworks, Java, VM, and so on. The directory you're interested in is commands. So I'll type cd space commands, and return, and then ls, and there are all of the Java commands, including Java, Java C, Java Doc, and many, many others. Again, you'll need to know this particular directory location later on in the course when you configure Eclipse to tell it where certain tools are, such as the javadoc command. So now you've installed Java, you've tested it to make sure you can run both the Java Virtual Machine and the compiler, and you've seen where the Java files are installed, and you're ready for the next step in the process, installing Eclipse on your system.